नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल बिफोर आई स्टार्ट माई एडिटोरियल आई वुड अर्ज यू टू शेयर आवर कॉन्टेंट I would urge you to distribute our content because YouTube does not do it the way it should. Better well, I would urge you to watch our content on our website www.hwnews.in because if you watch our content on our website then we need not depend on any platform to distribute our content or to block their content because our content they don't like. So kindly if possible watch us on www.hwnews.in that said let's get right into the editorial today is the 131st birth anniversary of dr baba saheb ambedkar dr baba saheb ambedkar the founding father of our constitution my question tonight is have we followed his vision have we followed the beautiful constitution because our constitution is said to be one of the best in the world my question is have we followed one of the best constitution in the world have we followed it or have we deviated from it that's the question i intend to ask tonight let's get right into the show kargaon district in madhya pradesh saw communal violence on ram navmi day now the government didn't take it lightly and the government should not take it lightly either it should there should be zero tolerance for any kind of violence completely agreed but what the government did is what the question is now i am going to give you two versions i am going to give you the version of what the government did and what the government uh, uh, what actually happened on ground and what the government said the two versions i will give you now you decide you decide whether the government followed the constitution whether the government followed the law you should decide now what really happened was 16 houses and 29 shops mostly owned by muslim community were demolished by the district administration on the 11th april the day after the clashes while the local police have been trying to argue that they demolished property which were illegally which were illegally encroached that is what the police says the madhya pradesh government and the local authority claimed that the demolition was response to the rioters and the stone pelters i will read out a statement from the district collector to indian express where he said that we only removed encroachment from government land we only removed encroachment from the government land but the administration the government says no 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 we taught the rioters a lesson we taught the rioters a lesson that is what the, the government said the madhya pradesh home minister narottam mishra had on the morning of 11th april said in a press conference that jis ghar se patthar aaye hain us ghar ko patthron ka ek dher bana denge jis ghar se patthar aaye us ghar ko patthron ka ek dher banayenge which means i will demolish the house the house that told what it actually means is whichever house were involved in stone pelting we will ensure that we turn it into a pile of stones this is what the home minister the custodian of law the custodian of law of madhya pradesh said in a statement given to india today mr mishra said this is madhya pradesh and rioters will not be spared the dig of khargon tilak singh has also said that the demolition drive has been carried out as per our policy of zero tolerance for violence so now mind you at one end the government says zero policy of violence the government says this is the way madhya pradesh deals the government says the person who throws the stone na we will demolish his house this is what the government says this is what the government says and of course the administration at one end another end says no no these were all you know illegal Uh, encroachers so we broke the in- illegal encroachment so what big deal this is something that we do normally this is the two version you decide which version is right which version is wrong now ironically ironically one of the houses was built from the funds given to them by the pradhan mantri awas yojana the the funds were given to one miss hasina farooq and the collector says that you see you know the point is the money was given all right but the money was given for a different plot they went and built a house for a different plot so we broke it out this is what is happening now you know what 
as far as law is concerned as far as law is concerned there is no law where the police if you pelt a stone the police can come and destroy your house there is no law there is no bill such bill passed in the parliament no parliament in india has ever passed a bill that are wo patthar pe kana uska ghar tod do are are we banana republic is this law now again i tell you you decide the government says that you know we taught the stone pelters a lesson and the administration says no 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 we broke the encroached house the people who 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 encroached government land we broke their houses this is the two version in front of you you decide which version is right but if the former wherein they broke the houses because they were stone pelters they write it if that version is correct then it is an unfortunate day for india and our constitution and dr baba saheb ambedkar's memory it's an unfortunate day and if it is done because they were encroaching government land so theek hai fine then that is okay that's uh, how law should be but that being said i want to do end it with one tweet from the pro of uh, madhya pradesh it's a verified handle so this is the tweet that they mentioned खारगोन शहर में फतराव के बाद माहौल बिगाड़ने वालों की धरपकड़ के बाद उन्हें आर्थिक नुकसान के तौर पर दंडित किया जा रहा है शासन के निर्देशों के बाद प्रभावित क्षेत्रों में चला बुलडोजर द सेकेंड इंसिडेंट आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट इज पंजाब मिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल मेट द चीफ सेक्रेटरी पंजाब स्टेट पावर कॉर्पोरेशन चीफ अलॉन्ग विद अदर पंजाब पावर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफिशियल in the national capital that is in delhi and punjab cm was not present for all of this during the meeting and discussed pre poll guarantees of punjab voters he called the chief secretary he called the punjab state uh, power corporation limited chief and uh, called all of them and discussed the pre poll promises which is very nice but you know what the punjab chief minister was nowhere there this was discussed by the chief minister of delhi so like somebody wrote in a tweet yesterday that punjab seems to be having a shared capital with haryana and a shared chief minister with delhi this is how it is all looking because man wasn't there man wasn't there now is it such a big crime for uh, kgwal to talk to uh, the chief secretary of uh, punjab no 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 it is not it is not a crime in fact he was doing it for the benefit of the people which is something that i understand i don't say that is wrong or that is a crime but is this how the constitution should be functioning you can't have proxy chief ministers because this will be dangerous for our constitution this is not how dr baba saheb ambedkar built our constitution ke kisi ko bhi bita do chief minister ke chair mein aur chief ministership chalayega koi aur this is not how a matured professional republic works democracy doesn't work this way a chief minister is a person who should be authorized and the chief minister is a person who is been voted by the people of that particular state who sits in that chair and who takes decision for that state he is authorized and responsible for his decision if something goes wrong arvind kejriwal can say mere ko kya malum i was not the chief minister baba that uh, man was the chief minister i was not the chief minister he can say that because constitutionally what power what authority does he have to take decisions for another state while he is sitting as a chief minister of of another state what power does he have to to do that so that's the point that one takes that being said i repeat and a lot of you must have already written in my comment box saying that so what it was all for the benefit of the people of punjab and all that i agree to all that but this is not how management is done a chief minister is supposed to take the decision a chief minister is responsible for the decision and the chief minister should be authorized therefore to take that decision because if there is no authority then there is no responsibility either now many of you will comment many of you will comment saying that are you know what manmohan singh was the prime minister sonia gandhi used to take a lot of decisions sonia gandhi sonia gandhi never sat in the chair as a chairperson to any official meetings of manmohan singh 
the secretaries, the government secretaries were not called and not instructed by Sonia Gandhi. Now, whether she instructed them through uh, Manmohan Singh or not, all that I don't know. But Sonia Gandhi never called secretaries in, in an official uh, capacity and started giving them instructions. It never happened. So, let that be made very clear. Unofficially, she must have said, unofficially, she must have guided uh, then PM uh, Manmohan Singh. I don't know. But... That is not how it happened officially. Same is the case with Maharashtra. Once upon a time, late Bala Sahib Thakra had said that, you know, the remote control of the government is with me. But that being said, never, never has Bala Sahib Thakre called secretaries to his house, administrative office bearers to his house and gave direct instruction without the chief minister, either Manohar Joshi or later on Narayan Rane sitting with him and being there for the meeting. It has never happened. In fact, I don't even remember a meeting where he sat in an official meeting with the chief minister. He has not done that. He must have called the chief minister to his residence in Matoshri and spoken to them. That could be a different issue. But he has never done that. So technically speaking, there is a respect that you give protocol. There is a respect that you give constitution. And that respect has been breached by the chief minister calling these secretaries and speaking to them directly without the presence of the chief minister who is supposed to be doing this. That's the point I wanted to make. Let's get into our last bit. There's a senior journalist, Lata Mishra. She is from the Mirror. Very senior journalist. And I want to read her tweet to you. Her tweet says, I remember meeting Neil Somaya. Neil Somaya is Kirit Somaya, BJP leader's son. Neil Somaya, while covering a story. And heated argument took place between my photojournalist colleague and him over calling his father Kirit and not Kirit Sahib. He got upset and raised his voice when my colleague refused to use Sahib word. He says, Sahib bol, Sahib. Yes, Sahib bol ne ga, what Kirit and all that? Constitution and why am I connecting it to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar all his life fought for equality. He fought for equality. Now, you know, as journalists, we don't call politicians Sahib and Sir and Master and God and all. We don't call all that. We call them by their names. That is how normally a journalist addresses a leader. That's normally how it happens. Okay, now somewhere down the line, it is seen, and in the, in the in the in the recent times, it is seen that politicians doesn't like it. Politicians has to be called Sahib, Sir, Your Almighty, God, God Almighty, His Highness, and all that jazz. You know, I remember there's another very interesting tweet I had read uh, somewhere uh, by a fellow journalist Ravi Nair, also a senior journalist Ravi Nair, where he has said that you know he called uh, this. Uh, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, when he was a minister in Congress government, he uh, was called, he called Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. So he picked up the phone and he said, Maharaja speaking. And uh, Ravi said that, listen, I wanted to speak to Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. And the man banged the phone. He said, Dad, I am not going to talk to people who don't call me Maharaja. So, somewhere down the line, these are people, according to the constitution, they are public servants. They are supposed to service people. Like the... Prime Minister says, and like I remember Vinod Dua used to say, Pradhan Sevak, Prime Minister used to like being called as Pradhan Sevak. At least that is what he says in public. He liked to be called as Pradhan Sevak. It is, you are Sevak, you are servicing the people. And these people who services us, they want them to be called as Saeb. They want them to be called as Sir Almighty and all of that. So this is the last example. I, this is the last point I wanted to make. Are we actually, are we actually other than giving sound bites, other than talking about it, are we actually respecting our constitution? And how have we degenerated our constitution? How has our constitution degenerated over the years? Year on year, other than actually making our constitution strong, which again I repeat, our constitution is supposed to be one of the best in the world. Other than making our constitution stronger, giving more strength to our constitution by our lawmakers. We have degenerated our constitution by our action. So the next time these politician comes and says that, you know, today I remember uh, 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 Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and all that. Please think, think, ask him, what has he done 
to strengthen the constitution that Baba, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar so very diligently and with so much effort made for our country. What have we done with the gift he gave us? Till I see you next time. Namaskar.